If you, for one moment, thought to yourself that this video was not going to be stocked full of shade, bitch, this video is going to be... Here, take the, take the goddamn tree, okay? Take the goddamn tree. More money, I want your money, I want more money, I want your money. More money, I want your money, I want more money, I want your money. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, I won't take it back. Cause after this shit, I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, I won't take it back. Cause after this shit, I was a hoe. More money, I want your money, I want more money, I want your money. More money, I want your money, I want more money. Because we're from Britain, okay? We don't spill tea, we drink it. Yes, it's your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you hoes. Now I know what's happening. I know there is a good, <laughs> there is a good 100 of you bitches. Hi bitch. Hi bitch. Hi bitch. Hi bitch. Hi bitch. Who have clicked on this video because you guys know full well that me and here for the tea, we are not friends. And that's fine, if you're looking for me to do a video on me dragging her, then this is not the video. However, if you're expecting me to be unbiased, I'm gonna categorically tell you now that I probably, most, yeah, I'm definitely going to be biased. Yeah, take, take the goddamn tree, okay? However, today is not about me. Today is about Here For The Tea and her recent Twitter rant slash feud, slash pretty much what she does on an average Wednesday. Yeah, take, the, take the goddamn tree. With Raw Beauty Christy. Now, if you don't know who Here For The Tea is, I have done four other videos concerning Here For The Tea. You can find those over here. However, someone new to our channel, somebody that we've never spoken about before, is Raw Beauty Christy. So, like always, although this is going to be a very short video, I'm going to be breaking down who Raw Beauty Christy is for you in 60 seconds. Raw Beauty Christy is a beauty guru from America. She is a 29 year old female and she typically does makeup reviews as well as different styles and she does throw in a couple of vlogs in there for you hoes. Christy is a self taught makeup artist and she has been making YouTube videos since 2013. She got married to her husband Zach in 2010 and has a cat called Turkey. She's also well known for her very close friendship to fellow YouTuber Glam and Gore. Raw Beauty Christy has also lost a substantial amount of weight. I do believe she's lost about 40 pounds approximately, which is pretty dope. Side note, me and my partner are actually doing the same diet, and the reason that we decided to do that was because of Christy's video, so I'm in ketosis at the moment. We'll see how that goes. I might update you. I might sob into donuts, we don't know. <laughs> choices. <laughs> her most popular video, surprisingly, is regarding her weight loss and how she lost 25 pounds. I think the reason that a lot of people flock to her channel is purely because she has a very unfiltered, uncensored way about talking about makeup and real life issues. Anyway, this whole argument started on Twitter because of a subtweet. I honestly promise you this entire story is ridiculously trivial. This is the tweet that was subtweeted. Anyway, I think in a separate thread, Raw Beauty Christie's partner, Zach, decided to change his name to Here For The Salt. Anyway, this seemed to come out of nowhere and Here For The Tea clocked the house, girl. Take the goddamn tree. I said I wasn't gonna be shady, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. Anyway, so it turns out that the tweet that Here For The Team made was actually very similar to the tweet that Raw Beauty Christy had made on her Twitter account. I guess what happened was a lot of people ended up sending her screenshots of what Here For The Tea said. And I don't know, maybe this is just speculation, but maybe she just like went and said, Can you believe this? Oh my God. And then he was like, Don't worry, babe. I got you. I'm the man of the house. Oh. I don't know. That's how people speak in my head. <laughs> and that's probably why he decided to change his name to here for the salt probably thought that nobody would get the reference however it's the internet and once it's out there it's out there so here for the tea lost her shit again <laughs> she reposted something that her husband had said and said and quote 
so pathetic when your husband has to fight your non-existent battles for you. If you followed me, you'd know, but since you assumed, let's go. Then she went on to say, these fools think I was talking about Christy like I give a f and her dumb ass husband changes his name to here for the salt thinking he's cute. Get a clue, dude. There are plenty of influencers doing chit chat get ready with me videos. And then Raw Beauty Christy basically said this. I don't literally give a single sh about any of this. Like, please, just stop. I do not care. I was tagged like five times of people thinking it was about me. This is all literally just so petty. Jesus Christ, laugh my ass off. Then here for the tea, in her feeling still, says, your husband seems to give an entire to change his name to here for the salt. Don't sit there and play the confused victim when your husband is likely right beside you. Anyway, this beef goes on and on and on. There are so many receipts, so I'm just gonna flash them up on the screen. In fact, you know what? I should do it. I should do it like lovely tea. At the end of the day, this entire situation is crazy. Of course, social media is having a field day with all this foolishness. Go ahead and try what everybody and their mama had to say on Twitter about the situation. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. popped off for pretty much barely a reason now watch me i'm holding this tree bitch because there's gonna be shade so if you're ready for it we're ready okay here it is here it is here is your trigger warning that if if you are not here for the shade i'm about to i'm about to do it take the goddamn tree what i find funny about this situation purely is my own personal encounter with um this individual um i find it very funny that she likes to talk about other people's husbands all the time in fact she likes to talk about my partner do you remember? She talked about her man and her mom, yeah. She treats her f***ing her, she treats her fiance like a f***ing dog. And that's, that's the fact. That's the fact. So you can, you can see it for yourself, you know? You can, you can view it for yourself. Every triggered? Apparently, it's called some It's a real mom. Cry me a fucking river about your relationship. Isn't all that it fucking is cracked up to be, is it? Oh, we are violent. We are vicious today. Should I go further? Yeah, go further. Or do you want to go? Yeah, do you want to shut up? Go further. I'm triggered? Go further. Really? Go further. Say more. Bitch, I'm not the one... I'm Say not it. the one fucking crying my eyes out there about we go. shitty fucking relationship. There we go. Okay? There we go. Well done. Congratulations. Go further. I'm not the Stupid. one fucking sitting there crying my eyes out yep. about my shitty relationship and how unhappy I am and blah, 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 blah. Shut up, Paige. Wow. Everybody fucking knows about your charade. Now yeah. shut up. Congratulations. You just played yourself. <laughs> yeah, so to me personally, that leads me to believe that it's less about oh, your husband was in the wrong, and more about why don't you keep your husband in check, you know? What makes this entire situation even more funny to me is because I personally call her here for the hypocrisy. The reason for that being is that she never practices what she preaches. She talks so much about social media influencers knowing the pitfalls of Twitter and what a sub tweet can lead to as showcased in her most recent video when she spoke about Thomas Halbert and Laura Lee. And although it's pretty clear she was subtweeting him, you never know for sure so it's not the best idea to go off on her when you don't know. However, I am always here for the tea. Yet she did the exact same thing. Now don't get me wrong, everybody gets a little bit pissed off and heated sometimes. However, what I don't understand is why she hasn't taken it to the individual personally. As in, it was her husband, it wasn't her who said anything. Thing. Therefore, if you've got a problem, you should be taking it up with the adult, the other adult who is involved, not a sub-party. It's almost as if it's like she's just collateral damage for his wrongdoing. Like, he's a grown-ass adult. 
handle. He can handle himself. And if he said something, then he's standing by his word. Then speak to him and say, hey, bro, like, what's that? Was that necessary? Because I specifically remember a time, quite some time ago now, that here for the tea said that she was not responsible for the actions that other people do on the internet. So why all of a sudden is Christy now responsible for the actions of her husband? Now this is not me saying what her husband did was right. Because essentially it was, it was petty. It was very, very petty. I'm petty page, I see petty when I see it. However, I do think that the reaction that not just the people involved, but everybody surrounding, all the fans and supporters, the reaction that they got simply just wasn't necessary. And for somebody who spoke quite openly about YouTubers going out of their way to block people, when people challenged her, she blocked them. However, that's fine, that's completely her prerogative, but once again, it's the hypocrisy. Even in her most recent video to do with Laura Lee and Thomas Halbert, she basically said, yeah, it was pretty clear that she was subtweeting them. However, if you're not sure, it's probably not best to go off on them. Now, here's the thing. By that same token, he's changed his name to Here for the Salt, but Who's to say that it's directly connotated with you? Who's to say that that's exactly what he was trying to state, that you're salty, you know? Like, if you're saying, don't come at me for a subtweet, and they sub-change their name, essentially, you could tar it with the exact same brush you're assuming that that had something to do with you. Anyway, I just wanted to come through and talk to you guys about this situation. Um, today, I hope, I pray, that I am going to be able to do a double upload. I've never done it before, so we'll see. We'll see how that works. So I'm going to try and do a double upload today. And also, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think that this particular tweet, and not just the way the tweet is, the way it's constructed, do you think that this was a subtweet in the greatest form of what a subtweet could be? Or do you think that could have been aimed at absolutely anybody? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, what do you think about Christie's fiance? say changing his name on Twitter do you think he was definitely aiming it at here for the tea and sticking up for his wife like he's supposed to or do you think that this was a massive reach tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below I personally think that I was always going to be biased about this situation um, I don't think there was any way that I could actually talk about this individual without me being biased however I am just literally speaking from a point of view of personal experience of dealings with this person as can she talk about her personal experiences with various different people on the internet also do you think that because this feud is actually between herself and another beauty influencer that she might actually talk about it on her beauty channel tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below I personally think that this is quite hypocritical of here for the tea however that's just my humble bias don't come in the comment section saying, oh, are you gonna be biased? Look at you, you biased, blah, 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 blah. bitch. I know, I'm biased. Opinion. Because I'm petty. John Cookie, and I'm coming for you next, ho. This is the double upload. I hope you're ready. Too much money in the bank. I ain't trying to play no games. Fuck, I hate to go on sack. I be on my hustle all day, little bitch. Stay in your place, motherfucker, I'm paid. Too much money in the bank. I ain't trying to play no games. Fuck, I hate to go on sack. I be on my hustle all day, little bitch. 